Hello, here we are again with this new project of making a DOS game. Um, so the plan for today is I'm going to do this bit here because I put the to-do list and it, it, it might give the impression that we're going to do the things in order, uh, but that's not true. Um, although we we started with some of the BGA stuff um, before we start working on setting the palette and this the blitter making a blitter uh, which is basically what we're going to use to draw on the frame buffer um, I think it's better if we spend some time uh, getting images into <clears throat> our binary because well we need a palette right so we're going to get the palette from the image and what we're going to draw is going to be sprites that we're going to get for an image right okay so before we start with that um just make a correction from my previous the previous session for whatever reason i i wrote this wrong and i keep calling cws the pmi a uh, DOS extender, and that's not it. It's not a DOS extender, it's a DOS protected mode interface. So, yeah, I, I keep saying, I kept saying in the previous session, uh, DOS extender, uh, continuously, and it's not that. <laughs> so, it's not a DOS, it's not a DOS extender, uh, it's not related to that anyway. So, okay, so that's out of the way now. Um, in order to get the, the data into the binary, I've been looking around if there is some easy way of loading a PNG file um, or whatever, you know, it could be a BMP as well. Uh, but I think all the libraries or all the stuff I, I have found that is simple, en simple enough, uh, all of them work with a RGB instead of an indexed image that has a palette um and i was thinking well that's that's kind of painful because mm, it may not be as useful and and you know why i, I don't want to read rg values because what i really we will really need is um a bitmap which is only bytes right it's going to be an index from zero to 255 which is the index in the VGA palette right and we also need the palette that we're going to load so the colors you know mean whatever it means um, and you know we're using a we're writing a, a game in protected mode so you know we're going to have memory I think my my first uh, 32 bit PC was a Pentium and it had already 8 megs of RAM, which is a lot um, for what we're going to do here. So, yeah, I think we are not going to load this from disk. We are going to embed the data in the X file. Um, so, I think what we're going to do first is probably some, some tooling, I think. So I think we're going to write two tools. One is going to be a PNG PAL to get the palette from a PNG and PNG bin to get uh, the, bin, the, the pixel information as a binary. And we're going to get those two things and we are going to embed them in in the X file. Um, so the, it's not going to change anything. So we're still going to get here to GIMP and I'm going to draw the sprites or whatever. Uh, the only thing we're going to do is as part of compiling the game, we are going to process those images, those PNG into an intermediate format that then 
we have data already oh no it's only the directory uh, that then we're going to convert into an object file and we're going to link with the binary and i think that's going to be it i'm still not completely sure who i'm going to because obviously um yeah i think i'm going to make a simple like a, t a tile set uh for an with an image and, and a sprite sheet with all the sprites in another one you know it's, it's not a modern platform so we don't need to worry about textures or things being the same texture so you don't need to change texture when you're drawing things and things go fast blah 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 i don't think we care about that here uh obviously um because uh, the image data is going to be, it's not going to be compressed in memory. We need to be careful with that because one full image is going to be 64K, right? Which is nothing if we are going to have, you know, the requirements could be, I don't know, four megabytes or two megabytes. I don't know. I don't even know what it was the common configuration for those machines really. But considering that this is likely to run from DOSBox in most cases, I think it really doesn't matter too much. So I'm thinking now how I'm going to build things now because um, okay, so so I think I'm going to have a tools not that not like that. So we're going, to have, we're going to have a tools directory and we're going to write two short and simple Python tools. And I'm thinking that probably see, okay, so we can do things in two ways. So, which is, okay, so one of the ways I usually do this when I work in 8-bit systems. Um, okay, we can look at one of them, for example. For example, let's look at Hyperdrive. So, so I have a, a build directory where I generate everything right so so which is a lot really this game is kind of big but for example in data here we have boss one png right so we have a tool here so um the make file here on this directory is going to get let's look for that boss one boss one boss one is right right which is using boss one so basically what we do is we use a python tool when it changes the png it's going to regenerate the binary file so it's like compiling compiling it and actually <laughs> it's interesting because this is generated compiled sprites so and then this binary file gets processed by a different tool that packs the binary and at the end i think this is generating uh, i don't remember what it's generating i don't know if it's generating a binary at the end yeah it's gener it generated a binary and that binary because this is a cartridge game it does the cart the game in the cartridge so what I think we can do is similar to this one, this tool here, what we can do that is going to look quite, it's going to be quite nice is that it can take a PNG and then we can just get that PNG into an object file and maybe we don't need to have the intermediate data and we generate the object file in the source directory ready to link. I think we're going to do that. That's going to look really nice. 
Uh, okay, so. Uh, so let's just start with PNG PAL. And I'm going to use as a template one of the tools we're discussing, right? So do I have I think I have uh, okay <laughs> the names are sometimes difficult to remember what I call the things. Alright, so we're going to do something similar to this, which is this one, this tool here. What it does is very similar to what we're going to do. Uh, it reads an image that it has to be an index image. Doesn't matter. Oh, well, in this case, it matters because we need to get the palette. We could be accepting an RGB image, but no, we need the palette because we're going to establish in this project a palette and all the images are going to use that palette. So when I get the bitmap data from the image, the index 16 is always going to be, it's always going to be the same color. So yeah, it's going to be this pretty much. Uh, we're going to use uh, peel, uh, which is the same as pillow. Uh, it's, um, let's copy this. It is um, peel is a is a tool to basically uh, to process image data in Python. It's going to be very easy to use and very straightforward. And I think it's going to be pretty much the same here, right? So PNG to palette, oh. something like that. And we do this because, you know, sometimes people grab the tools and they use them. So I like them to have a proper way. Uh, oh, when I say the files, I have my, so I'm using LSP here. So, um, NeoBeam works like an ID. And also when I save, I'm, I'm, I'm using black to format the Python code. So it looks nice. So a standard stuff, PNG to palette.o. And the we don't need any of these. So one parameter is going to be the image. And we can say output, basically. Uh, or shall we do it more like, okay, let's do it. Let's do it differently. Add argument. Oh, can I do this? I don't remember how this works. Oh, yeah. So, so, okay. Opt up object. And we can pass the default. And we can use as default. Whatever. Oh, well, it could be the same image with. Um, Let's don't make let's make it simple, shall we? So image and then output. Okay. Uh, 
something like that, right? So we open the image, otherwise failed to open the image. It has to be palette. Failed to extract the palette. Well, it is an index image, but let's do it like this. Then if equals name, then okay. So that is the basics wired already. Um, now, um, okay, so now what are we going to do differently? And for that, uh, we're going to look at a different tool, uh, not here. Simple really has a map. That's what I think I want to do. No, this doesn't have it. Why? What? Uh, I'm confused now. So this map has it. Oh yeah, there you go. So we're going to do something like this. Uh, we're going to use sub process. Okay, so let's import that. Because what we're going to do is, I don't want, uh, I don't want to use a intermediate file if I can help it. So what we're going to do is with sub process. We're going to pass the binary to... Okay, so so we had the palette. And now... Uh, no, I don't know how to write Python anymore from OS. And then, okay. So we're going to do... Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're going to do LD is going to be get LD uh, What does it work? Can I oh yeah optional no okay so get LD can I get uh I don't remember at all how to write Python. No, it's going to be get and it may return none. So we get whatever it's LD, otherwise we get uh whatever it was this. What are we using? E5, A6, this one. Is this correct? Yeah, we get a string. Fine. Cool. Because we're going to use LD. And then we're going to just do the sub processing, right? Uh, okay, let's try that. Sub process call, then we're going to do LD, then it's going to be R, then B, binary, I will explain this uh, in a minute when it works. Uh, and then the output is going to be, what do you call it? Output, right? Now we can use call we need to use be open because 
I want to pass. Okay, let's find another one. I have another. I'm sure I have done this. And it's going to be faster if I. Oh man. Uh, so where do, did I use that? Mm, I have used that in different places, but I don't remember now. It was in the MS Express, maybe? Maybe in this one? No. Uh, man, I have used this in different places with different types of compression and a lot of stuff. Okay, so this is AP Ultra Compress, but this using a, is using a temporary file. And I think... Okay, okay, it has to be one of the ones I use with... Uh, Oh, oh, I, I know which one. Uh, um, this one is using AP Ultra already. Maybe I still keep kept the old one. So this is just a temporary file. Temporary file. I don't want to do that. This is the one using Popen. Well, you know, I could have Googled that, but having my code doing it that already. We can use that. So basically, what I want to do is use um, be open, uh, and then I pass all these parameters, and then I say that in standard input, we're going to use a pipe, and we're going to pass uh, the palette. And in order to LD to know, we're going to pass a dash. I think that's this should work. So output out error p communicate and then right because the palette is going to be not information available excellent i like that i'm not sure what is palette so this may not work we may need to because it may be a list of, of triplets mm, okay we will see in a minute so 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 what is error it's a standard error okay so what is communicate is doing communicate is interact with a sub process send it a string now or close it blah 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 any string and a string so standard output a standard error i'm going to assume and what if p return code is not zero then run s something like this like that right so ld and then the other and that's it and if it works it works okay uh so instead of doing this Let's print the palette, shall we? So, and then we do tools, PNG, pal. So, yeah, copyright, PNG to palette, oh, and okay, cool. So, we need an image now. So, let's do an image. So just 
whatever, it really doesn't matter. And we can do, for example, I don't know. What do we put in here? We can do, for example, we can write a test or just, yeah, let's write a test because it's going to be good to check. This is a test. Something like that. And we can put it here. Then image. We flatten the image. Then what we're going to do is in mode, we're going to do indexed. And then we're going to use a custom palette, which is the one we are going to use for now, which is this one, existing colors. And we convert. Now, if we look at here in the palettes, the color map of the EMS 42 is already the palette we have. Now, I don't like what it did because it changed the order of my palette. I want them in this. No, it didn't change anything. Good job. So it's just because I want to see it. It's easy for me to see what I'm looking at. Cool. Is that the same? Yeah, it is. So now I can save this as a PNG. Uh, and then... Where are we now? It's DOS, right? What we're we doing? So, DOS and game data, we can call it, for example, sprites. Whatever. It's not going to be sprites for now. Okay, so it's an index image. Uh, and we're using this palette and that should be well it's not great because we don't see color right let's add some example we can add some colors here because otherwise we're going to we're going to basically try this and we're not, we're not going to see any color so let's make some something like let's go testing. It really doesn't matter. I mean I would be surprised if <coughs> some colors work and others don't. So you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay, so we need the image uh, which is in and then whatever, because we're not going to do anything with it. Oh, excellent. It's already a list. So, so the first one is zero. Then all five, five, five is white. We can see here. And blah, 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 blah. can we see it in a different format? Oh, does it work here? 205, 205, right? So the next one is going to be 234, 136, 44. 234, 136, 44. Perfect. And then this, is this right? No, this is not right. So. So we copy this here. That's 200 and... 55 colors. Uh, okay. No? 256. Okay, so. That's kind of a problem. Is it? So. No, but it has 16 colors. 
why is this thing getting all the hmm all right so i guess we need to get that information from the image so right so yeah the problem with this is that for whatever reason it's not it doesn't know what to do with pill so that's not going to help us so it's okay because we can go here and we go to below and not this one so we got an image <coughs> <coughs> So, I want to know how many colors we have in the palette. Um, return a list of colors using the image. The colors will be the image mode. For example, an RGB image will return a tuple of blah 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 blah. A P image will return the index of the color in the palette. Is that what we want? So get palette. Palette is a list. Yeah, but I don't understand why is getting why is getting more colors than than it should. Really? This is only 16 colors, right? Okay. Um, okay. Maybe. Let's see. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, no, that's not what we want. Mm. So it's not get colors. Hmm. Okay, so it has to be something about information about the the image right and so because it's going to tell us somewhere has to tell us how many colors we have hmm? well, apparently it's not oh i can't see it right now so get colors is the um, The colors with the image mode, for example, RGB, a double of red, green, and blue. Yeah, is that no? It's an index, right? Oh, so this is the number of pixels with zero, the number of pixels for one, and the numbers of pixels with five. Ooh, that's kind of weird, but the con the turn the contest of the image is sequence of vision now. Well, I don't know how to do it. So for now, we're getting the full palette, which is going to have colors that we're not going to use. Fine. But we know that the palette is in the right format. So uh, if I do this, <laughs> OK, um, I was expecting that with this will allow me to get the input but maybe we don't need that um, and also because I don't think we are collecting a standard error so we don't really care about any of this 
uh, because we're not going to get the output, right? So we can just do this. And that's enough for us to know what happened, right? So no input files. So <laughs> no idea how to do it. Okay, so LD LD is the the new linker. So with LD there's one thing we can do. Um we have we're going to use the options dash r which is generate a relocatable output uh so that's for the object we're going so we want to put it anywhere and then with dash b We're going to use dash b. Why is doing case insensitive search? Good question. And dash b, I was expecting this to be easier to find. Huh. Okay. So, well, I was expecting something to be easy to find, but apparently it's not. Anyway, dash b is basically we're telling them that it is just a bit, it's a binary block that we want to generate the object for it. Um. Anyway, I was expecting that I could use the the input. Usually the linker is, in, is, is invoked with at least one object file, but you can specify other forms of binary input files using L or R and the script common language. If no binary input files at all are specified, the linker does not produce any output and issues the message no input files. Yeah, but that's not what we want. We want to use the standard input. Mm. Oh, B input format binary. There you go. Um, yeah, this is kind of unexpected. So basically, it doesn't like the idea of getting things from a standard input. Qua, qua, qua. Okay, well, let's use a temporary file. What can we do? Right? There's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. So... It's going to be this thing. So we get a temporary file. I mean, it's going to be the same. Instead of using subprocess so pop, we're going to use call, which is the thing that we were using before. So, so basically, we create a temporary file, whatever the operating system wants to give us one. We save the palette on that, and then we do subprocess so call. Okay, we do a subprocess call. Uh, I will see about the return output, the return code. So, so the output, and then we pass the file, which is going to be empty name. And because now it's a call, we don't need all this. 
and what is call returning call returns an integer which is a return call okay okay fine okay no issues and we have all pal if we do an object dump of pal so basically this is very ugly <laughs> Because it uses the name of the file. Ah. So this is how the symbols are is exporting, exporting, and I don't want that because I don't want to have to do with binary underscore underscore blah blah blah. So. Um... So, print the symbol names from file name to relocate and include it. No, okay, so R is relocatable. So, so um, let's look again for. No, uh, I don't remember, man. It was here. Okay, input format. LD my configure to support more than one kind of object file. Ba ba ba. Text a string the name. The default format taken for environment value uh, new target. You can define the input format for a script using the common target. So Okay, you can use the B option to specify the binary format for an input object. This is what I we just read, right? Um yeah, this sucks because because we want the, the file name, you know, the export symbols to be nice. Now it's going to be awful, right? I don't know how to do this. I mean, the only thing I can do is generate the file somewhere and then drop it. But it has to have the, the, the name that we want to import. <clears throat> Must be a way of of providing a name, right? And I wonder if that's part of the binary script. When creating a dynamic link to executable, symbols make cloud, we add it to dynamic symbol there. Oh, no, that's not it. Uh, export dynamic now. Mm. So I think so it will do it will start and right. So it does start, end, and size. <laughs> but those names are terrible, right? Those symbols is not something we want to to spot like that. And that's probably the hmm, whatever is the configuration for that binary thing that is taking those. Hmm. 
Well, definite symbol. Symbol the input file. Continue the sort of the of expression. Now. Embedded Redox. This option is similar to the mirror locks option, except for the Redox are strongly styled now. Okay, so what if we look at uh, uh, things here? Maybe. Okay, so there are LD scripts. None of them looks like uh, what we're looking for. Yeah, it may not be a configuration file, and then that's bad, right? No, those are includes. It has to be an LD script. Yeah, there is no way. <laughs> you. Okay. And how do we control that? So. So binary I mean the chances that I can that I find this is going to be impossible really Yeah, okay, so, so I will work in Lincoln script, blah, 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 section, yeah, no, thank you, this is, I don't want to get involved with this, so, um, let's do something that is not quite right, but it would work, so, so name temporary file instead of doing that I mean it's the right way of doing it but the file has to have I mean if the if the name of the file is going to to tell uh the the symbols we just we can't use a temporary file i'm not going to use those strings to access to the palette it doesn't make sense there must be a better way of doing it but i have no idea how to do it so Hmm. So I don't know. Hmm. I'll be back. I'm going to get some oh, something. I'm getting cold. I'll be back in a sec. Right, so yeah, that must be a way of not using the file name. Hmm.
there must be some of his name or Is referred by the now. Okay, OPPO format. LD may be configured to support more than one kind of object file. You can use the format option, the binary format for the OPPO file. Yeah, we use whatever is the DG, DJ GPP is using, so it's not really that one. Um. Yeah, I don't know. No target. The input file object not on bad. So, seven input files. Yeah. And I, I mean, it kind of makes sense now. If this is the behavior. That's why it needs. That's why it needs the. The file, right? So okay. So let's do it. We open uh, Okay, so Okay, we can use from the output, right? Okay, so I don't know, it's going to be terrible, but yeah, I don't care. So, so output, um. Okay, we can do this. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, because it has to be the file name, right? Okay, let's try that. So, we do this. Then we write, we flush. Then we do temp, then um, so this very quickly. Okay, so we create the file, which is going to be the same as the output. So if I do if I do tools and I do pal o, it generates pal o the same. And it's going to use pal. I'm happy with that. Not a problem. Um, okay. We just need to be careful with... 
Yeah, because it's not a unique name. So this is not quite right. If we run in the make file things in parallel and we are writing a temporary file with the same name, it's going to make a mess, right? Do we want to do it with the make file or in data? Hmm. No, I don't think we're going to do it like that. I'm going to do things differently than the way I usually do them. So, so we can do. Can we make it generic? No, because we just need the palette, palette of one of them, right? So we can do palette dot o, and then we can do, and it's going to be data. Sprites, for example. Uh, how do we call that? We call it PNG pal dot pi, and the input is going to be the requirement, and the output is going to be the other bit palette dot all. So. We do make cream is going to remove all the objects. Yeah, see, so it added the stuff and it linked it in. And so in main here, we are not setting the palette, right? Mm, we don't even have the code for that. Which is fine. Which is fine. Okay, so, first of all... Uh, okay. So... We can add a, a little bit of a description. Okay, now I just I don't know. <laughs> this is just for me or whatever, whatever, whoever is reading this, right, watching this video. But so um, okay. So, till I don't know how to do this. How to write this? Do I have? No, I haven't. I haven't mentioned it. Uh, anyway, so let's do something different. Um, no. Make a running game development. Ba, ba, ba. Um, some tools. Python three. Python three. And build. All right. Wow. 
whatever. I mean, I will include more details later. Right. So, uh, let's go to VGA. Oh, one thing I was thinking, I'm not going to use a prefix because I'm not building a library. I'm just doing the stuff I need for what I need to do, right? So, okay, so. So I don't really care about making it look nice, right? So we can do something similar to this, but with my own way of doing things, which is going to be like this palette and then And those comments are okay. Let's say this. I think this is fine. Okay, so we have a set uh, a set palette function now. So so For now, I'm going to put it here, but so it's going to be const on a t uh, I don't remember it was binary palette. Um, somewhere, somewhere, somewhere it was <laughs> okay, binary. Pal start binary did it call it palette at the end? So then yeah, I call it palette. So binary palette start and It's going to be an address. So set mode, then set and it's going to be sixteen colors, right? And instead of doing here this, it's going to be only sixteen. And it's broken because I didn't type include probably. Uh, what happened? Okay. okay. So okay, fine. It's because I have an impedantic mode. It's correct. I like it. Um, because we're never going to change this, so it's part of the binary. We can't. I think we can. And it crashed. Page fault. Okay, so what did it do wrong? Because it may not be like this, it may be more like this. And if it crashes again. Okay, so that looks like is using um or palette, right? No, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh let's take a screenshot of this. 
and then we go here and then it make image uh, colors no how was that image mode index it uh, optimum palette it only has 16 colors we convert them and ta -da! it's the same colors same image 44 no it's not the same colors hmm funny so it didn't work did it those aren't the colors and uh, is it doing something funny with I don't know but these are not my colors then okay let's try something different so we can see what's going on so what if we do what if we don't do random and we show all the colors so random is in standard leaf but we're using it for other things so we're not going to remove them remove that and instead of doing this we're going to do um, in from zero 16 colors please then we're going to do a mem set which is going to be the color and we're going to do is that how you use mem set yes and it is it is in string are you using string already yes um but here we're going to wait after changing the colors so black white um Ah, uh, so far. No. <laughs> yes, no. No, of course no. Or maybe. Honestly, I don't know. I don't think those are my 16 colors. Um, could it be that the palette... something is wrong? That doesn't look right. Oh, I don't know. Oh, we need to uh, do we need to do the whole palette maybe we do I have no idea we'll have to look at that at some point yeah because we're doing right so um okay set palette I thought that that would be okay, but maybe it doesn't like it. So white, yeah, but that's not the next color, is it? It's not. So black and white is going okay, but then... What are these colors? What's going on? So I'm not completely sure. Something is funny, and I don't know what it is. So basically, if, if I say 
if I save this again, it will process the palette again from the sprites. Yeah, but those aren't the colors. Oh, they are not in the right order. Um, so this is image 42. So the color map of image 42 is correct. So is it doing anything with the image indexes? No, we don't remove a user duplicate. We don't do color detailing. So. So this is image 42. So it's the same. Nothing had changed. It's the same palette uh, that we were using here. Hmm, I wonder if there's something funny going on when he's saving there. I never had problems with this. So, set resolution... Yeah, we can set that. We don't care about the rest. Uh, yeah, 8-bit RGB, completion level, export, yeah. Yeah, it's not. It's not doing the right thing, and I'm com not completely sure why. So binary palette start. So. So the size is. 300 in hexadecimal, which is 768. Binary palette start for ah, oh, because that might be an address. I'm just being silly. That's not correct. So, this is definitely a pointer. But then when we access this, it crashes. So what's going on? I mean, looking at this, it's telling me so wait a minute, symbol table these are four values so the end the size and the start is a pointer no isn't it oh no what does it mean hmm uh... Let's do... Let's do a silly text test. So... Can I do... So... And then... Uh, sorry, what are you doing? Wrong? Oh, sorry, it's the output. Okay. And now... I can... Okay, see, I used to... I was planning to do these things differently, but... Things better. The way I'm doing it now. Okay, cool. So let's add the test.o, right? 
and then on the main we can do all of this and do so it's going to be extend const win 80 right of uh of dom x is oh yeah so binary read me and the end I really don't know because we have to do it both, right? Uh, what did I do? Sorry? Pointed, uh, pointed sign. Oh, because it has to be a pointer. Okay. So, this is how it is. So, there is something funny related to the how we sit in the, the palette. So, uh, man, it's okay. Now, oh, multiple definitions of environment. Okay, so that could be that could be a problem. We need to fix that. And I don't know what it means because I had never used this before. So fun times. Let's do one thing at a time. So that crashes. But I thought I had used this before. <laughs> okay. So Okay, so that's how it works. So that's the readme file that we have embedded now inside. Um, so that is definitely the way it has to be. So, so we put back the valid in here. And we remove this and we uncomment this. Not completely because this one has to be commented. Because it's a comment. Um I don't even know what I'm looking for anymore. So set palette. Uh, we get the palette and then all that. Yeah, but we know it's not set in the palette, right? Those colors, there are colors in there that don't match. So that's not right. Hmm. And this is how we set the palette. So that looks okay. It looks okay to me. Um, so this Spanish guy is saying the same thing. So we open the color. Oh, right. So that code was wrong. Wait a minute. So how can be this completely wrong? Oh, because it's a different port. No, it's the same one. So 
3c8 you point to the color you point to the color and then you need to output rgb i think it's because this sets the first color so with this you can set each color independently No, it's, I know what is it. Okay. So the goal was correct. But it's because this is RGB. And the, uh, it's saying the colors red, green, and blue go from 0 to 63. Which is not... Okay, where do we look for more examples how colors work so palette manipulation to set the colors in the palette zero to pour that and then the colors of the palette fine the palette you can see until the mode is set yeah okay cool and the VGA only gives us six bits per color. So the best you can get is active. Okay, six bits per color. So this is. This is not right. That's why we don't get in the color. So the code is fine. But I know, I mean, I'm just doing the same. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so the problem is that we got the colors in RGB with 8 bits per color. But that's not what we have. Uh, can we say something different here? Can we say no, 8 bits per color? And what we really want is uh it's not is six bits so up to 64. well we need to convert that right can we just do this and see what happens Yeah, no, that's not how, what we want. So we want to do... Um, so these are IGB values. So, so what we need to do is... So sixty three. So then it is. Okay, so those are the colors now. Uh, wait a minute, that, that, that last one was correct? Yes, yes, yes it is. So we got black, white, orange, brown, brown, yellow. Okay, so that got the colors. And we learned something, that we only have six bits per pixel. Ha. Huh. Okay, so that was interesting. Okay, so one last thing maybe that we need to fix. Or should I do add something to the to do? Because I think the palette is done. Um, and maybe I should put a comment here. 
Or maybe it should recommend here. Okay, so. Whatever. Cool. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, so the other problems we have is we uh, not this with that environment here. Um, uh, 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 um. So, okay. Export all symbols. If given all global symbols of the objects used to build the DLL, will be exported. Now that's what we want. So I don't want that environment environ. And it's going to be this one. So PNG pal, PNG pal. Okay. Uh Unrecognized option. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's not LN, it's LD. Exclude the symbols, exclude symbols. Specify a list of symbols which should not be automatically exported. Symbols may delimit by commas or columns. This option is specific to the uh, no, so that's not what we're using. P is port portable executable for Windows. Uh, so that's not what we want. Okay. So, wow, I have a massive spider on the wall can we get rid of it okay spider dispose of and now we need to get rid of that environment um okay how do we get rid of that uh is underscore environ so what do we exclude that Yeah, but it's again P. <laughs> hmm. Uh, what section is that? Could be that? Could be the DC sections, maybe. Uh, and then we save this, so we do this again. Uh, 
This action requires either an entry or an undefined symbol. Well, I don't know what is that in Emberon anyway. Um, Hmm. Yeah, there's all the flags for those are not for the envy. I mean actually uh could be something like uh Like, can we do a strip? Because it may be that. Cross fingers. I don't know. There was something dumb. Nah, it's still there. Arr! What is that? Why is Environ? What is that Environ? Um, I mean, the chances that we can find what we're looking for. Yeah, I mean, the chances that we can find that. <laughs> it's not going to happen, I think. We probably need to look at the manual and... It's not helping. So, yeah. <laughs> so... Enable by default, strip discarded. Um, strip all. I mean, it's not doing anything really. Um, I mean, I can leave it because. It's still there. I don't know what is that. But it's, a, it's going to be a problem because we're going to embed more than, than one thing, right? Or I want to embed more than one thing. And, and it's not going to work if we don't... Okay. Let's try that. No. Ah. I wonder if Is still there. Oh, look, that is the uh, that is the opposite of what I wanted. Okay, so so. 
So undefined symbol, for symbol to be entered in the output file. No, it's the other way. We want it to discard something. We want to remove that. Discard all local symbols. Minus X. Ah, let's try. One of these has to be. No. So that's not it. Uh, discard all local symbols is not working. Discard locals. Delete all temporary local symbols. Uh, no. Hmm. Subject name is the symbol to address the common symbols. Inhibit common location as the default. Yeah, but we because I don't know what is that. The problem is I don't know what is that environment. Actually, I don't recall. I think I have used this before. And I re don't recall having problems with this. What I'm doing differently? Um, I have no idea. So this symbol table, I want to remove this environment for the symbol table. table. Uh, so there must be a way of so school symbols right filter say the internal design no that's not what we want because it's not that uh, so Map, print the map of the standard output. How common symbols, but I'll just measure in the memory. Map, maybe. Okay, let's print that. It might give us some insight of what's going on. Oh, look at that. Memory configuration default. Uh, target binary load, load palette. Um, what? Data environment. What is that? Idea. I'm not even searching for it because this is not the right one, it's LD, not LN. Um, so print the map didn't help. Mm. 
optimize the output from the main box. Push a state, box state, blah blah blah. Just symbols file name. Read the symbol name so that this is from the file name. Do not relocate it or include it in the output. Strip, it doesn't do anything. Strip discarded now. Um, on the find symbol. No, that's the opposite. It includes a, fine, a symbol that is not defined. A unique section. Ah, uh, we could be putting them in a different section. Now, um, as needed, not as needed, blah, 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 blah. be static, the end, not shared. Don't, that's not what we want. That's not exactly what we want. Check sections. Force group allocation, no dynamic linker. Okay, uh, let's try something different. If I do LDRB binary, is anyone else using this? Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, but that's, this is exactly what I'm doing. Binary start, binary end. What? Okay. Um you can learn it, you can use the exam tool uh, should they use it blah, blah, blah. all right okay i don't want to do that i mean i i thought this would be interesting but think being method in being constitutive and this does it's not free can see delivery works on it no thank you hmm Well, I mean, when I'm training, it doesn't work, right? So, nice people are suggesting a lot of different things, different ways of doing it. Actually, I didn't know about XDDD. Are you kidding me? So, if I do... So what are they suggesting that we do? Oh. Sorry. I said input file. Ha ha ha. I didn't know this existed and it's, it's kind of cool. Um, I made a Python script for this and this is done already. Anyway, that's interesting, but I don't want to do that. I mean, I know how to do that. This is what I do in my, um, what is, uh, ah, sorry, what is XDD? Uh, I want to know where that's coming from. It's a tool actually. To make or reverse an X stamp. <laughs> cool. Well, I'm going to start using that, I think. Anyway, I don't know where to go now. Um... I don't want to do this. This is 
kind of what I do in my 8 bits projects, but it's not great because you're forcing the we have, you're forcing the compiler to include this, which is binary data. So that's what I thought. Why I thought that this could work. But it's not really the same output. It gives the symbols name and it gives you three symbols. But we know it's not what I'm getting. I'm getting four. So whatever is doing this guy is not the same we're doing. Although I have to admit that it looks the same. And it's also not doing it properly. This is not true. If the symbols are one underscore, you don't include the underscore here. This is not true. How old is this answer? Two years. Ask 13 years ago. <laughs> oh. Okay, things could have changed. Uh, yeah, 2010. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, this, this guy is saying exactly what we mentioned. Um, green underscore. Just mentioning that it changes really. Hmm, interesting. Um, so it's mentioning I'm 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 now into it. Okay, underscore. Oh, nice. Hmm. Yeah, but the thing is that I don't know what is causing the environ. And I don't know, basically. So export all symbols. Um, yeah, but it's portable executable, so that's not something we need to care about. So uh, I wonder if this is different. I wonder if this is different. Mm. Why will it be different? Steve all is still discarded. Um, um will the no 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 nothing. Hmm. Hmm. The final symbol. The final symbol. Hmm. 
So this is actions reminds us on some targets. Don't remove and use actions, which is the default. Don't print these actions. Keep DC keep exported. Hmm. Relax. <laughs> this is the code side by using target specific optimizations. Relax. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to relax. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it here because I don't know exactly what's going on. I probably need to investigate a little bit offline and trying to find um, what's going on. Uh, for now, I think we can say this. Uh, and then to do in here, we can make a note here. Maybe merge them? I don't know. Something like that. I mean, other than that, I think everything else is, is good. I think that tool is useful. Um, I mean, worst case, worst case, I can make it just generate an include file and just move on and keep going. Uh, but I still think I want to do it properly properly this way it looks it looks better to me um, so let's stop at uh, Well, I think that's going to be all for today. Um, I need to investigate that. See if I find how can we remove that problem. Otherwise, we can't use that. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, I mean, generating the include is easy and it works. That's what I do in the 8-bit games. Um, it's just that it's not very elegant and it has some... I, I, I don't like it. I wanted to do something better. And this one looks actually uh, quite cool. Uh, does it work with this? No. Mm. So... So this one doesn't have that environment thing. So, why this one has it? I don't know. Maybe I need just to read this. And it's going to tell me what it is. No, it's not telling me what it is. So, I don't know what is this stuff here. And it's also... The size is zero. So, what? What is actually and it has two underscores i need to find out what is that and let's get rid of it anyway that's all for today um if nothing happens 
it's likely that I'm going to stream again on next Thursday. So see you then. Bye.